Rangers. They'd sell it like that. Uh, Real Madrid, our favourites to advance. Uh, Bayern Munich, 3-2 to two on Wednesday. Is this a stupid question, Ali? Um, Ali, um, Archie. Yeah, go to Archie. Is this, is this almost a free <laughs> hit for Bayern? It, 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 shut up, Jules. <laughs> is this a free hit for Bayern, given their season and given how they've already kind of overachieved in the Champions League by comparison? No, it's it's a Champions League semi-final, and Bayern Munich expect themselves to to be there in a, in a final, regardless of what the state of this team has been this season. And even after after what's been going on right now, how they have been humiliated with their search for a new coach, I think the club officials could do with more of a spotlight being on the team, being successful on the pitch in, in some way, even if it does actually create still more embarrassment for them in the fact that, hang on, you chose to let this coach, this coach who is going to take you to a final, if they were to get there tomorrow uh, on Wednesday night, you've chosen to let him go. So yeah, either way, the Bayern hierarchy will continue to lose right now because if they go out on Wednesday night, then there's just more pressure on who exactly the new coach is going to be. And the new favourite, Dan, is a guy called Eric Ten Hag, who was oh, Bayern Munich's second da, team da, coach. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I didn't realise the budget meant you're doing the jingles now as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Eric Ten Hag was Bayern Munich's second team coach between 2013 and 2015. He was a candidate to take over after Hansi Flick left the club in 2021. So it's not all that surprising a name to see, wow. but that's the new name which is being spoken of the, the highest, I would say, in, in Germany right now. That's what the most sources are corresponding with. And it's not ideal, but Bayern Munich are not used to, to being last to pick that forever. They've been having first pick of coaches who they've wanted. And now, having been turned down by Xabi Alonso, which they weren't expecting, Julian Nagsman, also weren't expecting, and Ralph Rangnick, which just felt very naive amongst all of them, then they, they, they are lost. And you look at those, those coaches that I've just named you, they do different things. And it tells you how lost Bayern Munich are right now in terms of what they're looking for. And it's why Thomas Tuchel has actually looked better since his, uh, since his sacking was announced. Because if anything, it's looked like, well, I'm still a good coach, but have you seen what's going on behind the scenes here? No chance he can do a Xavi. No, no, Archie, no way. If they win the Champions League, he'll say, you know what? We'll stay, but I'm staying with my rules. Nope. I, I no. think he, he, would, he would enjoy it somewhat more if he did do that before sending a certain amount of fingers uh, in the direction <laughs> of the Bayern hierarchy. There, there has been talk of, oh, may, maybe Tuchel could change his mind, but I just think there is, there is too much water under the bridge, and particularly with the people that they've tried to hire since it's, it's, all, it's all gone down. And I think Thomas Tuchel's also a little bit sick of Germany. He wants out. Oh, well, well, uh, don't tell Derek Ray that. <laughs> oh, That'll be yeah. it. How dare you? <laughs> be all How over. dare you? <laughs> um, Archie, you've lived in Germany for a while. Mm. Do, do you get the Premier League? Why? Have they seen Ten Hag and Manchester United this year? <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Bayern Munich are desperate, Dan. Wow. They are desperate. <laughs> you and Derek, right come on, surely that double act can come in and save this. They're more than Ten Hag. <sighs> there is still a good coach in there. Deep, but... deep in there. But you look, Manchester United was a car crash before Eric Ten Hag arrived. That is yeah. one thing as well. And they have burnt through quite a few coaches in the last few years who have been successful elsewhere. So I think Bayern Munich's thinking is that, well, we, we hope that we will get the Ajax version of Eric Ten Hag. And this appointment, by the way, is a huge one for Bayern. Because next season, the Champions League final is in Munich. And I've been talking to you about embarrassment and humiliation. Bayern Munich are not there, then that's terrible for the club. So 
also for Ten Hag, should he come to Munich, you've got the specter of the of this whole thing of Xabi Alonso being supposedly available next season, Jurgen Klopp, should he change his mind, being available next season. And he will have to continually fight against that should things go south. So if he doesn't like Manchester for the pressure environment, I'm not sure he's going to get it much better in Munich. Uh, Jules, uh, you were saying beforehand you like this idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted. I think I think this is the perfect match, really, by Munich <laughs> and Eric Ten Hag. You know, I, and also more seriously, I'm not sure. I don't know Ten Hag personally, but I think psychologically, this season could leave some scars on him if he gets sacked. Let's say if if they get punished by City in the EFA Cup final, for example, if they don't finish the season with another win, which is possible, they play Arsenal at Old Trafford on Sunday this could be another embarrassment for them. So let's say it's a terrible end of the season. I'm not sure it will ever be the same after those two years, where especially the second one at United, where, where he's been all over the place. So I, I understand what Archie is saying. In term, and the Germans seem to, to have a different perception than, we, than the rest of the world have on players and managers. They seem to, be, to remember quite well things that happened 10 years before, and if you were good 10 years ago, they, they still assume that you're still very good 10 years later, even if everything is, has, has, has improved and changed and evolved and everything. So I can see that, that side of, of, the, of Bayern Munich's uh, decision to maybe go for Ten Hag. But outside of that, I don't really, it doesn't make sense to me. Found like a bit of German bashing there, Archie, uh, to be honest. Uh, I, well, let me... I, and we don't want that. <laughs> 